My name is Nancy Krecker. I am the owner of Cakes by Nancy. And today I am going to show you how to decorate and assemble a Yule log. We are going to make our Yule log out of the red velvet cake. I'm going to show you how to thinly pour it into cookie sheets. We use just a regular size cookie sheet that you have at home. No special sizes needed. You're going to spray the bottom of your pan. Okay, we use a flour based spray here at the bakery. We don't use the shortening of flour. That adds too much crumbs when you flip out the cake. That gives you a layer of crumbs. So we use a flour based spray. No parchment paper needed at the bottom either. You're just going to slowly pour the red velvet in the bottom of the pan. You only need to coat the bottom. You don't have to worry about coming up to the sides of the pan. You may have to add a little bit more. You're going to evenly spread the batter on the bottom till you get a nice even coat and then that would go into the oven just like this. It will bake for about 15 minutes depending on your oven temperature. Hopefully they're all calibrated correctly. Just use the temperature at 350. Should only need to bake about 15 minutes. You'll know when it's done when your sides have pulled away from the edge of the pan. And then it should look something like that. The cake has pulled away from the edge of the pan. Okay. If your one side is a little bit thicker than your other side, that's no big deal. Okay. You might even have a little bit of cracking. That's okay. I should have just poured a little bit more. It's very easy to flip out. You'll take a piece of parchment paper. You will put it on top of your cooled pan. You're going to flip it out. I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to trim off the hard edges of the cake. And again, this is parchment paper. You can use wax paper. Some recipes call for a clean towel, but I have found that towels sometimes will leave the feathering or the threading in the cake. So you're picking out little threads from your dish cloth and we don't want people mistaking a dish towel threading for a hair. So then we're going to tightly roll this. Just like that. Then I put this in the refrigerator just like this overnight. When we bake off the, cook the red velvet in the cookie sheets, we bake two pans. One for the length of the Yule log. The second one we would cut in half to have the piece that comes out. Now after the cake is cooled overnight in the refrigerator, still wrapped in the parchment paper, I've unrolled the cake and I've taken the cake off of that parchment paper. Now I've got a clean parchment paper because this is a very sticky job because the cake gets kind of sticky from sitting overnight in the refrigerator. So I'm going to now re-roll it back out again so that I can fill it with the cream cheese filling. I'm going to put a thin layer on top of the red velvet cake. Don't make it too thick. You'll have problems rolling it 
back together. So you just need a very thin filling. Rolling it after your cake has cooled a little bit, rolling it and refrigerating it at night, overnight, helps in this process of re-rolling it back together again. <clears throat> it will crack and split, but that's okay. Just keep rolling, kind of molding it back together again. So we're going to glue this onto our board. So I take a little bit of icing and I put it down onto the board. Okay? So then I'm going to gently lift my Yule log onto the board. Okay? Then I'm going to cut my little section at an angle. See how it's already got the rolls of the cream cheese? I'm going to cut, put a little bit of icing, glue it down, just like that. Now with my cream cheese icing, I'm going to give it a crumb coat at first. That's to help fill in all the little splits and keep the cake all together. Now I'm going to give it its final coat. You don't have to worry about being particular, exact, or nice and smooth. That's one thing nice about the Yule Logs. Uh, it's supposed to represent a log of wood. So you don't have to get your lines exactly smooth. It's a really fun cake after this point for the children to start help icing because it doesn't have to be perfect or smooth and they can help. Be creative. Everybody's log is different. That is the Yule log.